Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about a change in your mindset between violent visualizations and positive visualizations. Basically, negative and positive. And I'm not going to be here talking to you about, oh, negative visualizations are bad because they're negative. You should only do positive ones. No, we're not going to be doing that today. We're going to be doing something a bit different. So we need to explain both of them first. What are positive visualizations? What are negative violent visualizations? Well, positive visualizations are something I learned recently that really helped me. If you watch one of my previous videos, well, basically, positive visualizations are when you sort of zoom out on your problems and realize how pathetic they are and how pathetic you are because you're focusing so much on them, because you're overthinking so much about these pathetic little problems, because God is on your side and these problems really can't harm you that much. So these positive visualizations just make you feel more at ease. They make you feel more relaxed. They make you feel more secure, more sure of yourself. Because once you realize that God's on your side, God's behind you, God's backing you up, basically all your problems kind of look pathetic in comparison. And I'll tell you a quote right now that really helps with positive visualizations. And this is a quote I learned from a, another <laughs> self-improvement sort of person, I guess, where stop telling your problems wait no stop telling god how big your problems are start telling your problems how big your god is such such a thought-provoking quote right there such a good quote by i think a guy named george so uh search him up on youtube he's really good and basically you need to believe that your problems aren't as big as you think they are and with this quote i really think it helps because it really changed my life once you realize that God's really on your side, none of your problems are gonna look that big. Anymore. And you don't need to worry so much about them. You don't need to stress so much about them because stressing about them will make them just worse overall. Like if you have a, if you have a skinny guy who's going to the gym, right? But he's so obsessed with how he's not gaining weight, how he's not getting bigger. And if you keep stressing about that, eventually he's just gonna quit going to the gym altogether, right? But if you have a skinny guy who's like positively thinking, who's positively thinking and thinking how his insecurities, yeah, they're annoying, but he'll get past them eventually. They're not as big as they as he thinks they are. If he has that mindset, he's 100% gonna make a lot of progress in the gym going forward. And he'll keep fighting for a better tomorrow. Now let's discuss negative visualizations. These visualizations are <laughs> usually really bad for you but there's one in particular i want to talk about which are violent visualizations now violent visualizations are basically the visualizations of anger of wrath of hate in your heart basically if you had like a traumatic experience or if you've had a lot of if you had a lot of like, really bad people in your life like Okay, I didn't, I'll be honest, I haven't actually had that many bad people in, your life, in my life. But if you've had like annoying people in your life, right? If you've been, if you've been ghosted by like 10 girls, if you've like, if you've experienced a breakup, if you've had a really garbage teacher, if your parents are mean to you, if you're, uh, I don't know, there are a lot of possibilities here. Basically, events that you associate with hate, with anger, with resentment. These violent visualizations draw energy from these memories and basically visualize like you visualize you committing acts of violence on other people. <laughs> that's that's it basically. Violent visualizations are angry visualizations. When you feel wronged by someone, when you feel betrayed, when you feel like you hate someone to death. You visualize hateful things where for example like you're beating people up right? like, very vividly and these visualizations are pretty bad for you unless you use them properly at the right time because so let's be real anger is a relatively normal emotion right sorry I'm having the flu right now but I hope you can still understand what I'm saying anger is a normal emotion like you shouldn't be ashamed to be angry but when is the best time to use it and you guess 
when you're grinding <laughs> when you're grinding you can use that anger you can actually use that hate that aggress that aggression that resentment that that feeling in your heart that you want to kill something that's when you can use the negative visualizations that's when you can use the violent visualizations when someone wronged you when someone talked badly about you behind your back if people laugh at you at school in a bad way <laughs> you can use these memories these visualizations and that's when you the, t the time that you use them is when you're grinding when you're in a gym when you're working out really hard because those negative visualizations are the perfect ones to use when you're doing pull-ups doing push-ups lifting heavy weights going on a run because that's gonna push you that's gonna drive you that aggression will take you to the next level basically and positive visualization positive visualizations are also very important but they shouldn't be used during the gym workouts honestly because you're just gonna be so you're gonna be so chill you're gonna be like oh what a nice day look at the sun <laughs> you're gonna be so weak in a way you're gonna be so soft that's what i mean because you're just gonna be so like in a positive mo mood you're not really gonna be working at your full potential you you are gonna work out hard for sure but you're gonna work out much harder if you're using the neg negative visualizations and that's why you need to you need to use them at the right times because negative visualizations as well if you're having violent thoughts like during class hours you're gonna get in trouble you're probably gonna like snap at the teacher or you're gonna snap at one of your classmates you're gonna get angry and then that's gonna like hurt your brand image that's gonna hurt your per the perception of you in other people's eyes and you don't want that right you don't want to you don't want to hurt anyone actually but these negative visualizations will just make you more of a dull person in person <laughs> so if you're around your friends if you're with your family you're spending time with your family maybe if you do have a girlfriend you're spending time with her you don't want to have violent thoughts during these times frankly you just want to be present in the moment and having more of these positive visualizations because then you're gonna be like chill you're gonna be like listening to what they have to say instead of just being so angry inside your mind you're basically trapping yourself inside your mind and you don't want to do that so negative visualizations especially violent ones you shouldn't be having them when you're like in school hours talking with friends you don't want that because you either you're gonna get in a fight with someone or you're just gonna come off as dull that day or just negative that day you're gonna be more passive aggressive as well and rude you don't want that so you just know when to use the different visualizations positive visualization should be used when you're just chilling when you're with your friends with your family when you're reading for example when you're talking to your girlfriend if you have one if you're asking out the girl you should be using more positive visualizations more like oh my problems can't hurt me because god is on my side you know that kind of thing you should be having more positive visualizations during these times but when you're working out when you're studying for example or when you're doing push-ups you're doing you're doing deadlifts you're uh, doing pull-ups you're working on a business maybe 100 percent, you should be using these negative hateful visualizations because that aggression will push you to the next level so just make sure to like turn them off when you're done with them like turn them off slowly gradually and like switch to the other one and then switch again switch again because you don't want to be like on just one the whole day because if you're positive the whole day you're gonna be less not really you're still gonna be on the grind but you're gonna be less like you know <laughs> you're gonna be less like that you're gonna be less aggressive whereas if you're just all the time you're just gonna be not nice to be around you're gonna be like an asshole so don't do that and I hope this video really helped you I hope the mindset shift can change your life because it did mine so just keep that in mind and keep fighting for better tomorrow